In this video, we're learning about two different mesh styles in RPG in a Box, Classic and Marching Cubes, and how to mix and match these mesh styles by using groups. I've got the voxel editor open, and I'm going to open up the bed model because it's excellent for demonstrating the different mesh styles. Classic is the cubic voxel-based style you see in the editor, and Marching Cubes is a smoother, low-poly style created from your voxel model. Switching to the marching cube mesh style won't change the way your model looks in the voxel editor, but it will change the way your model looks in-game. So to see what the bed will look like with marching cubes, we need to first save our model with the marching cube option selected to generate a new mesh. Then we can use the preview game mesh function from the voxel editor toolbar. The checkbox below, Apply Marching Cubes at Grid Boundaries, will change whether or not the voxels touching any edges of the grid will have the Marching Cube effect applied to them. If we look at the bed while this option is checked, we will see that it has very impractical pointy feet because the Marching Cube algorithm is being applied where the mesh touches the bottom of the grid. However, if we go back and uncheck the option, the marching cube effect won't be applied to where the legs touch the grid, giving us bed legs that no longer pose a danger to flooring. This setting is also useful when creating tiling meshes such as ground tiles. Next is the group functionality. This is a very simple yet powerful function which unlocks a lot of potential for the way your model looks. It allows you to create named groups of voxels within each frame of your mesh. If your mesh is in the marching cube style, each group will have the marching cube effect applied on it separately, which can be used to create defined areas. For example, if we switch this bed to the marching cube style and then preview it, we can see that it's kind of a mess. The pillow is melting onto the headboard, and the mattress and the blanket are merging with the bed frame. But if we create a separate group for each item, they'll be meshed separately. So let's select all the voxels in the pillow by hitting 6 or selecting the Select Voxels tool, then dragging to select all voxels. Now we'll click the green plus icon next to Groups to add selected voxels to a new group. Let's name the group Pillow. Checking the Remove from any existing groups checkbox will remove any voxels from your created group from any existing groups. We also want to create a separate group for the blanket, so let's repeat the process. Now we have two groups, pillow and blanket. So let's see what our model looks like now. Much better. As you can see, the pillow and blanket are no longer trying to become one with the bed frame. You might have noticed that once we have a group selected, an additional dropdown appears below it, which allows you to set the mesh style of each individual group. So you can even mix and match classic voxel style with marching cube style within a single model. So let's say we don't want a pointy angular bed frame. Then we could set the mesh style to classic and set the pillow to marching cubes and the blanket to marching cubes. Now let's go one step further and add the headboard and the footboard to their own group. And let's make that group marching cube style as well to give them a beveled look. Now let's check out our new mesh. It's really fun to try different combinations of groups and mesh styles, and it has a huge effect on the style of your models. These simple, easy to use options unlock a lot of potential. So take some time to just have fun and play around with the different options.